What up everyone, welcome to another Sunday review. Now this review is going to be a quick review of something I wear pretty much every day, which I think is a valuable tool for photographers, mainly street photographers and travel photographers as well. That tool is the Apple Watch. Now, when I first saw this coming out with the Apple Watch, I was like, why would people need an Apple Watch? I mean, it doesn't really make much sense to have it. It's just a watch that, you know, you can see um, who texts you, who calls you. But having it for almost six months now, I can say this, this has been s such a great tool to have. Not only can, while I'm working, I can see who's texting me, I can see um, alerts pop up with my phone away, and I can just glance down and see it. it gives me time, gives me uh, the, the weather, that was the word, weather, so if, I need, if I'm traveling out to do photography, I can see what the weather is by looking at my watch. Also, with the way I have it set up, you can actually see um, the sunrise and sunset, which is great for landscape photography. Now, the one thing that, besides um, it connecting you to your um, phone, so you can get like text alerts and phone alerts who's calling you, one of the big thing is when I'm out walking, is I don't like having, especially if I'm doing like a long walk, I don't like having a phone in my pocket. And if um, I'm at a new place, I don't know where I'm going, I use my phone for my navigation so I can see where I'm walking and if I'm on the right direction. It's kind of a pain and it just, if you're having carrying a camera bag and have your phone out with you going out like this and just um, trying to get directions, it's just a pain. So what I like to have in my phone is it in my camera bag, kind of out of my ways, it's safe in my camera bag. So how am I going to use it for directions? Basically with the watch. You can program through your phone and mirror it through your watch so you can actually Get alerts to where you're going. You can see where you're going in somewhat real time, um, in what direction you're going. And the great thing is, I don't have to just keep staring at my watch to see where I'm going. If I need to make a turn, my watch will vibrate or make a ding. And depending on if I need to turn left or right, it'll either do a little intense ding, um, intense shake, or a very light vibration. It is amazing just to have out, just walking around. I don't feel like I'm not going to get lost. I'm not going to. I don't have to dig for my phone. Another great thing is Apple Pay. Um, I absolutely love Apple Pay. I love using my watch to pay for everything. I can put my wallet in my camera bag, so I'm, basically my wallet, my pockets are empty. So I don't feel like I'm carrying anything. I'm not like doing excess sweating. If, I'm, if it's really hot out, nothing's really going through. So I can go up to a store that accepts that Apple Pay. Just basically get through my watch, ding it, and pay for it. It makes my wallet can stay, either stay in my camera bag, which it usually is, and I don't have to go feeling around for it in the bag or having it feel awkward in my pants while I'm walking two, three miles. So that's just, just a quick review of the Apple Watch. Um, if you don't want to get an Apple Watch, that's fine. I think any smart watch that has direction is a big tool for street photographers and travel photographers as well, so you don't get lost where you're going. So that's basically it for this um, view. Please, if this, you find this video helpful, um, or if you like it, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you find it somewhat um, informative. Also, follow me on my Twitter and Instagram page. I'll post links below. And, yeah, just, I actually love this Apple Watch. And that's basically it for this review. I'll see you guys next video.